Yes, we're back. We're back. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the channel. <laughs> yes, we're ready, ready, set, and we're going. We don't stop, drop, and roll. And we just can't get enough of this situation of talking about Simon Gabaldia. Child, we canceling him like it was a bad check written under uh, duress. <laughs> we're going to end this joker right here. Yes, Portia Lord, he is your choice. But it's a mistake. It's a mistake. You should counsel him in the very near future, baby girl. Because I don't know how in the hell he would take you to Mexico for your baby's birthday party. And I'm thinking he's taking you somewhere real, real nice. Because you took him to Anguilla. But no, he took your, your, yourself, your family, your baby girl to Cabo San Lucas. <laughs> I'm like, we ain't on the damn love boat. And if we were on the love boat, we would have many amenities. And right now, from what I'm looking at, my dear, because I figured this out two days ago, really. Because Simon's not good at taking pictures. If he didn't really want us to know where he was on that Sunday morning when he was telling y'all he ain't telling us where he at, he would have did he would do a lot more better he can't be no super snoop because he'll get caught every time child he left a pillow in this stateroom of this rented boat that is not his i'm like okay what other boat is he renting because he know when he's in costa rica he loves to ride on somebody's boat and i'm sure that's not his i'm sure that's not his boat he he letting us think he I wouldn't even say go too far saying he owned a yacht. We wouldn't go that far. But we thought he had a, a decent sized boat where he can go out and mingle with the old other boat goers. You know what I'm saying? Just put it in the water. You don't pay for it. Just cruise. Cruise. Sail. You know what I'm saying? Sailboat at least. He ain't got that. He had to go rent. Rent something. Okay. The reason why I know is rented it's because on the pillow it says charter all right he don't own it see he giving us false impressions i mean there was a picture they were in anguilla okay because porsche had went there on one of the real housewives trips okay and she wanted to go back and she took this ego with her okay and this joke gonna take her to mexico <laughs> of all places i'm like Wait a minute. Didn't y'all go to Mexico when y'all filmed Family Portia's Matters? When y'all were going on a retreat uh, with uh, Lauren as the host? Simon balling on a budget, okay? He is balling on a budget and he's just giving us fakeness. Total foolishness. Fakery, fraudulent fuckery. That's just basically what he's doing. And I know we've had this conversation in the past. And we will bring it up as many times as we want to. You see where it says charter? And I kept zooming in and zooming in. Yeah. Simon Gabadia. He rented a boat to take them out into the middle of the ocean. So they could, I guess, swim with the dolphins. I have no idea. Okay, but you see that says Cabo Yacht Charters, and I'm thinking this brother had his own boat, but uh, I guess we he's not balling, and I know Lauren is with them on that trip. Her assistant, I guess Shamil couldn't make it, and lo and behold, he let his children come. But I'm like, Portia, couldn't y'all have done something in Atlanta for baby girl? I mean, she can't swim. And she's very young. She's three years old. Do you really think she's going to remember being in Mexico when she turns maybe 10 or 12? When she'll be most apt to enjoy it more? I don't know. Just my thoughts, baby girl. Just my thoughts. Wouldn't it have been nicer if y'all would have took her to Walt Disney World? Okay. I'm just saying. 
<laughs> to see Mickey Mouse and all those, the Magic Kingdom and all this kind of stuff. But you treating her like she's grown, like she's really going to appreciate all that uh, water and getting tan. And Lord knows she don't need to be tan no more. But a white folk, girl, to get them tan. And you're going to come back darker than what you want to be. And then you're going to start wearing lighter makeup to make up for the mishap that you were in the sun. I'm just saying, all that vitamin D, I hope you got your sunscreen on, girlfriend. I hope you got your sunscreen on. But yes, old Simon, old grandfather, old timer. He had us believing that he owns a yacht or some boat that's near a yacht type of size and he was whisking Portia away you know trying to show up Dennis McKinley and he failed miserably because I know I had seen that rock in that water somewhere it was very familiar to me and I got to look it online and lo and behold that's where he took Portia because he didn't really take it take PJ, PJ don't know nothing about no, uh, being on no sand, lounging in the sun and all that stuff. She just see her mama, and it don't seem like they had too many playthings on that boat, but they couldn't really mess it up because it wasn't there. You see what I'm saying? So I'm like, if you spent boat money like you do that car money, and the replicas you spend on, you could have afforded your own boat. Simon, yes, you could have, but evidently you're a late investor, as you have on your platform, so we get what we got. But it seems like the children, the three of them, don't look like they're having too much fun, especially the older child, and one child that was sitting by that pillow, he had actually fell asleep, and I guess they thought it was funny. And um, they took a picture of him. But I just X'd him out of that. Because it wasn't a good picture. But yes. What does PJ know anything about. What you're trying to do with her. I think it was more for you to go out in the sun. And you're just dragging baby PJ. Because I'm pretty sure. She would have been fine at Chuck E. Cheese. She would have been happiest. At Walt Disney World. Or Disneyland. California or Florida. Each it don't matter. But this eagle gonna throw y'all out there for pleasure for yourselves. Because that damn show wasn't for PJ. And that cake, I'm like, where the ice cream at? And the food that y'all serve. I'm like, girl, that, that, that's finger food for grown folks. That ain't finger food for kids. Okay, but she seemed to have had a very, very wonderful time. Because she was with you, Portia. And that's pretty much what she only cares about. All right, but yeah, that's Portia sitting herself out there. You see them other little uh, boats out there? Then why Simon couldn't have one of them? He had to go rent shit, but he the big man on, on deck. He's a big man with them transfer trucks, petroleum trucks and all of this. And he can't even afford a boat or a yacht, okay? I don't think it would have been a dinghy. I think a dinghy going to put one person in almost like a canoe. But shit, I'd rather see you stroking out there. <laughs> with a canoe showing yourself then front and saying giving you giving us the perception that you got all this you ain't got shit if you would came out there in that canoe i would have been okay with it okay because it's like okay you trying you start from ground up and you're gonna work your way up there to that yacht but then again hey you in your 60s so you got more time behind you than ahead of you so I'm like, boy, oh boy, oh boy, Portia, Portia, Portia. What have you done with the selection of this man? I tell you, I don't know. Maybe you know. I hope you're signed to his death benefit or, or some type of uh, lucrative benefit packet. Because right now, you just a glorified girlfriend. With no hints of becoming a marital person. If you're trying to do all this for optics... He's still looking like a little fool running out there because he's a hot mess portion. He rents everything, baby. And I hope, I'm hoping you did not pay for that trip to Mexico. Now, you already confessed that you paid for the trip to Anguilla. Please, I hope you didn't open up your purse, pocketbook, or bank account for this type of celebration for baby girl. Okay? We need to counsel him. You need to counsel him. 
this is too much. Your bank account is going to be looking pretty desperate out the wild. And you're going to sit and wonder where all your shit went. Well, yeah, bald-headed man, older man, father time. Did you ever look in his direction, girl? I mean, did y'all go 50-50 on this excursion to take PJ or whisk PJ away uh, from her dad? I mean, couldn't y'all have one big, happy, blended family uh, birthday party for PJ in Atlanta somewhere? I'm just saying, girl. I'm just saying. Because it's a hot mess. You're looking like a hot mess. I'm thinking you over there in Europe, Greece, or uh, where? where's the other place I said? Um, Egypt. I'm thinking you doing the doing thing. And you sitting out around here in Mexico. Girl, you should have chartered a, uh, uh, what do you call it? A cruise. <laughs> A cruise, and then we really would have seen you on a massive boat, okay? With plenty of playtime for the kids to run around, do whatever. They got little games for the kids and all that kind of stuff on those cruise ships, girl. What's up? What's up? Tell us the truth. Because that's something he should be owning if he's a billionaire. You see what I'm saying? I mean, it had to, it had to be something like Bezos, you know, his floating house, you know what I'm saying? His floating house mansion. You ain't got to be that big, you know what I'm saying? But it could have been something where it was kosher for maybe 10 to 12 people to host a little something, something. But we see he's tied up in those cars, I guess, to be, to not be able to afford to have you in his own boat, Okay. I'm just saying. The Simon boat. Maybe that's going to be in another lifetime. Because like I said. He don't want to say he's in his late 60s. But I bet you that brother is. Okay. He's trying to act like a model. In, in Hollywood somewhere. And they try to disguise their age. Instead of him going on. Telling us what he really is working with. Alright. Just be a hard working man. And just say you know. I fell in love with this girl. And I'm trying to give her the world if I can. But don't be fronting, trying to tell us, ooh, you need to, you know, show us these passports. And we don't need to know where you at. We just supposed to look through you and live vicariously through wherever you was off to in your little jet or plane or whatever you call it. All right. And then we find out you was in Cabo San Lucas. Really? Really, 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 Simon. Okay. Everyday person like me can go to Mexico. In St. Lucas, okay. Been to the Bahamas, been to uh, Puerto Rico. Hell, you would have did fun in Puerto Rico. Then Mexico. I mean, you just went to Mexico on that family debacklement of a blended source thing she was trying to do. And I'm like, since we blend in families now, since Portia, you had a, a devastating time trying to blend families together with Dennis how are you doing with Simon when was the last time Simon went over to visit his mother okay because we he showed something on his Instagram page that his dad is no longer on this plane of existence with us when did he when did he go see his mother only for a photo op last year I mean wh how, how long does he go because see how you treat your mom is how he's going to treat you and from it's what it seems like to me <laughs> since he's you will be his fourth wife he don't care too much about taking care of his women so Portia 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 I don't know, baby girl. I don't know. I'm thinking you was out there parlaying in Greece and you over there in Mexico. I'm like, damn. That's the way you tried to put Dennis in jail, wasn't it? You and your cousin. You just can't get enough, huh? You just can't get enough. Because it's a lot of pretty beaches. Hell, Colorado had a pretty beach. Uh-huh. And he took you to Mexico. Oh, righty, girl. But you balling with a billionaire. Okay, girl. All thing I see you got going for yourself is your lovely daughter. And I'm glad you're spending time with her. But I don't think her, all her time needs to be solidified on a boat. Okay, just because your so-called boyfriend likes to smoke cigars. He likes to lie in the sun. 
he can swim that's a good thing but i'm like where are the life jackets okay where are the life jackets just in case if you were on a cruise ship somewhere, a nice excursion for like a week or two, then you'll be balling, okay? Then you have some life jackets. But a bad storm come up, what y'all gonna do? What y'all gonna do? We need to see the life jackets present, even if you never have to use one. You're too close to that rail with that baby girl, okay? Now, I know you can swim because you've been jumping in that pool a lot. So, I'm uh, not pool, but uh, the ocean a lot. So, uh, hopefully you could save your baby girl if need be. But, mm, I, I don't know, girl. I don't know. And I ain't see the kids jump in the water. It's so I guess they weren't allowed to. So, it seems like this excursion was more for the grown folks than it was for the children. Because the only thing I see is them playing in the inside. And the whole decorations weren't there. I don't know if it's piss poor on you, Portia. It was kind of piss poor. Because when you celebrate, you know, your children's birthday from birth all the way up to, I guess, their uh, senior year or whatnot. And then it gets smaller. Uh, we have a lot of balloons. We have, you know, silly animated type people come. Like, we had Barney for my daughter. I had Barney come out to the house and, you know, entertain the children and this, that, and the third. And. You know, where was her animation? What is her, her, her favorite anima animation in her childhood? You know, them all the kids I see running around now. I'm like, damn, she see them already. Where was the other people? Don't y'all have friends? Friends of friends? So I got any friends got kids? Girl, that whole house, the whole boat should have been filled with confetti, uh, decorations, streamers. Several cakes, because you sure bought him several cakes. I don't see but one damn birthday cake for PJ. Yeah, she should have three. She's three, right? One, two, three, bam. You know what I'm saying? One cake for the princess just because. The second cake is because she wants to share with the adult. The third cake, she want to take home to her grandma's. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Girl, that trip was just for you and Simon and the adults. It had nothing to do with PJ. But you didn't want to catch the blowback on why you weren't celebrating your birthday girl. You know, the traditional way. Or it could have been non-traditional. But it was hardly no decorations. So, I'm just saying. I'm being mess. I'm in mess of you. Because you should have had your behind at home somewhere and throw that girl a, a nice party in the backyard somewhere. Like I say, Chuck E. Cheese. You could have took her to um, where Magic Kingdom, Florida's there, Sky Beach is there too as well. Hell, you could have took on a Disney cruise that's just made for the kids. That'd have been something she could have remembered and related to. But what I don't see her even playing. With the kids. Because hell they all too old for. To be playing with in the first place. I mean where is Bailey at? Your sister's child. Didn't see her nowhere. Like boy I tell you. Y'all know how to ruin a birthday party for a little person. Y'all know how to ruin a birthday party for a little person. Trying to make it all about y'all. And it's her third birthday. Ooh, child, Dennis, where are you? Where is Mama Gina at? Where is Mama Gina? She should have made sure her daughter, her granddaughter, with her for uh, her third birthday party. But I'm just a person looking in from the outside. But I once was, well, I still am a mother because my child, she'll be 31 at the end of this month. And, you know, I still be wanting to do a little something for her. I still have balloons and, you know, confetti here and there. And, you know, little presents everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Except for the big piece of resistance. You know, the big prize. But, child, I'm canceling him once again. Canceling him. He know how to blow a birthday for a child. So, you know, it's probably because he never had a childhood of his own. So, he don't know about that. Maybe his uh, parents were a little, maybe, I don't know, because he said they were well off. So, they, they had the finer things of everything. So, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe he had a, like an aristocratic type birthday celebration where it was kind of boring, you know. Ooh, Porsche, 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 Porsche. 
Flag on play. Flag on play with messing with this old ass man. Because it should have been kids galore running around that boat, hollering, screaming. You know, the good old fashioned kind, you know. And the, and the parents of the children all sitting down looking like they wore out as hell. You know what I'm saying? Trying to get the kids to be wore out just as, you know, worn out as they are. So everybody can take a nap. Well, uh, everybody was bright eyed, bushy tail over there. Why nobody taking a nap? But I think Simon's oldest son, or you know, I don't know how many sure he got, but the near uh, oldest one. I'm sure y'all saw it if y'all was on the um, Instagram page. They had it. They publicized it. They posted it for everybody to see. <sighs> and forgive me for sniffling. So much, but y'all know it's allergy season, and the pollen is spreaded outside, and it's messing with me. So y'all probably feel a lot of sniffling and all that. So don't fuss at me. Don't make fun of me. It just is what it is. I got allergies. I have allergies all year round. But that's all I have for this video, guys. I had to get up here and talk about Simon. You know, he's giving us the impression he got. Porsche is somewhat lucrative and luxurious and baby girl gonna be draped in pearls. You know, that's how I saw it in my mind anyway. You know what I'm saying? He on a flight on his own jet or plane or whatever. And I'm thinking he got a boat because he always on a boat in Costa Rica when he down there. You know, doing illegal stuff, I'm sure. But that's for another video. And that's allegedly, okay? It just put a question mark in my face. Why he always by water? He can't be on land nowhere. He can't go to France. Or he can't go out of country, country. You know what I'm saying? Jerusalem. He can't go nowhere. All right. But on the ocean port. On the sea port. Can he go to California port? Can he go to California, girl? Because that's where y'all should have been at. Florida, California. At uh, the Mickey Mouse place. Okay. Magic Kingdom. Or what's the other one? Uh, Disneyland. You should have been somewhere in those two vicinities. But of course. Simon ain't been with his kids. He don't know nothing about being a kid. He probably just grew right up out of his mama's stomach. And one year he was just a grown man. You know. Whew. But that's all I have for this video guys. Y'all like it. Love it. Gotta have more. Uh, until then, I'll see y'all next time. Bye-bye.